Welcome to another episode of the Subnautica series. I just wanted to show you the load-in screen. I really like that they have this little pingling going across the bottom and it also shows you like leaving the original ship. So it kind of shows off the, um, uh, the beginning of the game from a different point of view, which I think is really fun. For some reason I was like, is that my normal view? This looks, I don't, I don't remember this being what I was looking at normally when I looked out this window. So we needed new batteries um, just because I think our sea glide is running low-ish maybe. Um, we should probably head towards that marker wherever it is. It's hard to see against the thing. Um, so I guess that's probably where we should go. It's awful far though. Don't like that idea. I kind of wish we had the sea truck, but I have no idea where to get like the fragments and stuff. And there's a chance that that kind of stuff is on the way to the next the plot point, I guess. So it would make sense that we need to go that direction. All right, we are full on water. Let's grab these two, put the empty batteries in there. We can always use them at a later date. So we've got a lot of food on us. We've got a little bit of water. Probably convert that bladder fish. Or could keep it so we could use it for air. I kind of want to explore just a little more where we found the table coral since uh, we hadn't been there very much. We have a. We have that, so we don't need to give that a scan. Put the only thing down here. Looks like it. Thanks, their little plant. Still haven't found the table coral, but I am still heading out in a direction. I guess I'm heading towards the Delta dock station. Didn't realize it. Okay, I found Warning. the table Boxing coral. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency there. decreased. Let's grab the oxygen and then go back up to the right depth. Uh, that's a new thing. I think. Let's try to get a scan on it. With those teeth, it doesn't look friendly. Brute shark. Probably not friendly. Though it's not been too aggressive yet. Alright, you just chill on your little nesty wall thing. It changed its mind. It's aggressive now. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. At least we got a scan on it before it wanted to eat us. Hopefully it's not still following us. Alright. So many cool things down here. We scanned whatever that is. Oh, I think that's the mandrake. It just looks different from above. Yeah, we don't need to scan it. A lot of ribbon plant. Can we scan this, right? Yeah, or it doesn't need scan one of the two. Oh. oh, he ate a fish. Maybe there's what making that noise that I keep hearing. We're actually pretty close to that station now. Oh, there's a one of those Arctic rays down there. Sea truck fragment! Yes! Alright, we need one more. It's actually really hard to get it so that you sit at the surface and like get air. You just bop up and then you get slammed back into the water. Okay, so this is the biome we've been checking out. There's a little brute shark over there. Uh, and then we have a biome change. Which looks spiky. Oh, there's a mountain. Okay. Um. Maybe we'll just kind of chill up here towards the surface. <laughs> and head this way. Though I won't be able to see any fragments if I'm up here. Yeah, we'll stay towards the top and... Ooh, what's this? I think we might have already looked at these. Yeah, I don't know if it's scannable. Uh, we've 
scam to that guy. These are weird looking. They've got quite the build up on them. I bet they're hot. I don't know if we would take damage if we got too close, but ooh, we could scan it. Hyper hydrothermic hymoth hydrothermal spire. I know how to read. There's something over here. Go go around this. Oh, it's this guy. Nope, get out of my way. Other fish. Ooh. Sea truck fragment. Okay, we can make the sea truck. Okay. Blueprint synthesized. Plays quite the sound when you learn something new and it scared me. Is there anything new technology acquired? Down here? What is this? Oh. Gold. Mineral rich crevices detected below. Geothermal activity detected. Caution advised. I figured it out myself. Thanks though. Eee. Oh. Ooh. I think we're almost to the thing we need to go to. Should stop picking this stuff up. I don't ooh. It looks like something. Hey! Party cave bush. You forgot to be in a cave. Uh, that looks hot. Can we scan this? No. Ah, lava. That would make it hot. This hasn't been awful, which is preferred. Oh, there's a feather fish, I think. Yep, there it is. I could see the shadow on the wall there. Ooh, it's one of those rockfish, I think. Like the punchy, punchy guys. Uh, what are you called again? I won't tell you. All right, let's get up on this guy. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> are you after me, dude? Are you? <laughs> are you aggressive? What do you want? Ooh! It is aggressive. Go away! Um, could you stop walking all over everything? Oh god. Can you find another task to do with yourself? How far do you follow? Be gone. I need, I need to scan that stuff. Don't punch it. You're not gonna get food from it or anything. Ooh, plant. Ooh, the temperature. This is a recorded message. If you can hear this, you're trespassing. If you know it's good for you, you'll get the hell out of here. Huh. Right, we need to get warm again. I wonder if I could draw that uh, punchy fish over here. Okay. He just walked himself into the water. That's fine. Just stay there. So we've got chairs now. Garbage. Now are you mad? Well, I don't want to tell you, buddy. Uh, pick up the flask. Sure. Scan the coffee machine. Do you get- <laughs> There's a thing in the way there, buddy. I bet you can't use this. Eminent. Oh, okay. Alright, I'll go step into the water. Uh, I think I saw something that was scan- there we go, float light. Scan the wool as we were heading into the water. Ooh, a PDA. Cargo sea truck. Zero sector. Okay. Let's get in the water. Let's see what good friend Fred has to say here. Fred, I'm not blaming you, but what do you mean it's gone? Where did it go? You found some trouble somewhere in the deep twisty bridges and decided to jettison modules? Yeah, I had to jettison a module. I got free, went back for it, and it was just gone. 
and you think someone stole it. Or something. I didn't lose it, that's for sure. I'm careful with my tools. I'm sure you are, but you have to admit, there have been a lot of sea truck accidents, and they're rather expensive. You want to follow me on a few runs tomorrow? See what it's like? Conditions are way harsher than anything I ever imagined. I don't know if you could really understand it from inside your base. That won't be necessary. Thanks for your time. I'll write it up as an accident. Oh, yeah. I just do not like this. What is it? Manu? Ugh. wonder what happened to everybody. Because we know... Uh... Our sister is dead. Or it's what we've been told. Lil is alive. So I wonder if they just pulled everybody out of this area? Like, where's M Manu and Fred? We haven't heard anything about them dying. And you'd think that Lil would have mentioned, like, it being dangerous in general. That multiple people had died, but... Uh, I'm gonna leave this here. Uh, for navigation purposes. Ooh! Hot springs. All right. It does say to in the survival module to use hot springs to warm up. Uh, was there anything this way though? It's hard to know which way to go. Should we scan that? Yeah. So there's markers here. We'll just explore the whole island the best we can. Oh. Horseshoe shrub. Inventory full. That's inconvenient. How is it? Oh, it must be a big thing. Okay, so let's eat our cured fish and drink our water. That'll give us a little bit of space. Shrub nut. That is big. Health, food, and water. Ooh. I wonder if we could find some... Uh, planting stuff so we can grow these. Thermal lily. Hey buddy. Typically found on cliff walls during the day it points its face towards the sun absorbing thermal radiation and storing it internally. At night its petals close to reduce heat loss and it relies on its heat stores to survive the harsh conditions. Ah, So within the hollowed leaves are chambered pores which capture and store the sun's heat. It's a shrub that thrives in warm conditions, which I don't imagine there are a lot of around here. It must only thrive here because of this guy. Though how it's getting rays from the sun is unknown. Uh, let's go towards where the quest is and then we'll explore outside that. So I'm following like built stuff first. That's a big one. Don't need copper or titanium at the moment, so I'll just leave that. Ah, a beacon. Okay. Not beacon. Um, tower. Oh, honeycomb fung. This guy. Let's get up here and see what we can look down at. Another path that kind of winds down. goes somewhere. Ah, there's some little penguins. Pick up snow. Ooh. What's that do? Okay, so being in the cave is just in general warmer, even without those little plants. Long exposure to geothermal emissions may pose risk to human health. Oh, good to know. Oh, honeycomb is under exploitable. They pull nutrients from the soil. How is that exploitable for us though? Yeah, I don't know what that does. You can't harvest it with the knife and it does have an interact. Okay, we can make some snowballs. That's fun. Oh, that's some of that uh, sofer that you get from crash fish. Um, well, some of the seeds have fallen on the ground. We don't really need them at the moment. Um, oh! <laughs> Stop right there, Altera. You're out of bounds. I'm not with Altera. Then your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? 
If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! Who are you? Stay off my land. Um. Hello? Oh, that's quite a wrap. I the probably would. The exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. It would appear I'm far less alone on this planet than I had anticipated. Yeah, it would Signal seem location so. Uploaded to PDA. Less known position. She sounds an awful lot like the uh, person in the first game. There was. She was like the serious like fighter who would like bring home leviathans and stuff. Um, I wonder if they're the same person. It was suggested that she was dead, but they never did find her or her like final logs and stuff. So, Delta Station. Let's check this guy up here. God, I've, I don't feel like I'm able to tell what I have and haven't seen so far. <laughs> I'm, I'd, I'd hate to miss something. Uh, who's that? That's a new person. Okay. The only way I was... Skyray, come back. No. Uh, the only way I was able to scan one of those is one fell in the water and died in the original game. Status report up here. Yeah. Nice. It's nice and quick. Oh. PDA. Test override module port. And we'll leave that alone because we don't know what it means. Alright. Well, we sit in the warmth of this creepy. Too close. Too warm. Let's just check what we've got here. Uh, Jeremiah. Tower maintenance log. Okay, this time the birds have really done it. I don't know what they've been eating, but it's corrosive when it comes out the other end. I'm gonna need to rewire. I'm short an element to fabricate the right cable. I remember seeing some when I did that dive to the old ship. I'm gonna go out there and see if I can get some more. That should fix it. Maintenance status? In progress. He looks so cheerful, but he doesn't sound very cheerful. Uh, so that's the picture of a, the butt end of a ship in the water. Uh, operation manual, new employee training. It is recommended that all training be completed while tower is in test mode. Test mode is fully functional simulated version of live mode. While in test mode, all communication from the tower, including distress signals, security alerts, and uh, spy transmissions will be disabled. To initiate test mode, insert the test override module into the diagnostic port as depicted in the diagram on to the left, which we don't have. Uh, the activate test mode command may be entered via the terminal once the module has been inserted. Interesting. I imagine we're going to have to do that at some point for some reason. Because this feels like a lot of attention to detail that would would be silly not to use in some way. Hopefully they're storing like the percentages of scans on those guys. Uh, status report. Region 2... Scan. Two active human life forms detected. Unauthorized habit construction and vehicle activity detected. Observe and prepare for possible intervention. So they're watching us. They know we're here. Uh, I'm gonna say the vehicle activity is indeed not us. Unless they're talking about the sea glide. They're probably talking about the prawn suit that person had. Got a path. Oh, a habitat. Okay. Hmm, there's a lot here. Okay. This uh, ability to pick up snow keeps throwing me off. Open. I don't know how much this is. Okay, it's warmer. Cushy setup. Must belong to one of those higher uppers. 
This must have been Manu's location. Multi-purpose room! We can start building our base. And I shall never leave my safety again. Something... Ah, the bed. Yep, Manu's bed. His fancy desk. Oh yeah, here's a sign. Nameplate. What? How do you say that word? <laughs> Don't know. Uh, Sam skin. really got under management skin. I didn't know she had it in her. Ooh. Ooh, there's their extra fancy. Going around in circles. Let's turn that off. We've got some bookshelves. Scanned. Wall shelf. Scanned. It's weird. It looks like the moisture and stuff is like getting onto the paint almost. Aquarium. Ooh. Locker. Ugh, storage. Ooh. Chic plant pot. So we can get some stuff grown in the house. Once we have a house. A chair. Ooh, they've got blinds on their windows. What? We never got that. So let's check out... Ah, Emmanuel. Good morning, Frostpack. Just a quick update to inform you of some key achievements and priority shifts we need you all to get behind. The Spy Pangling project was a resounding success. Please join me in congratulating Samantha IU, who is now reassigned to Outpost Zero, helping us dream of future initiatives. Congratulations are also in order for Danielle Valenti and her team at Omega Lab. The closing of Phi Robotics means important funds can be redirected to their Kara bacteria study, which has important, positive implications for the life sciences. You're all doing an exceptional job, and I don't want to promise anything, but HQ has been taking notice. Keep up the good work, and I think we can start discussing bonuses soon. Okay, so Samantha was doing good. Uh, studying Kara is not good because there shouldn't be any Kara to study. Alright, so there's Manu. Reports to HQ. Gross. Alright. Anything in through here? Bar table. It was left in a hurry. I mean, he has a half-eaten meal here. Oh, observatory. Oh boy. Lot to scan here. It looks an awful lot, um, like doom. <laughs> like, it just looks ominous out this window. Uh, PDA? Manu. Apart together. David, you'll be happy to know the Frost Pack is making excellent progress. I must say, my management style appears to be uniquely well suited to isolated planets. I miss you, of course. But I wonder if you feel it too. As great as we are together, we're almost better apart. Just look at how well Prosperina did in her last show. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to see it, but I'm sure if I'd been around, I'd only have made her nervous. Once this mission is over, I'll come home for a few good months. And then, what do you think if we look at reorganizing our expectations to facilitate longer-term separation success? I really think this could be a great model for us going forward, romantically and otherwise. Don't forget, I love you from the depths of my heart. Keep on succeeding in your projects. You know there's nothing I find more attractive. So he wants to be in a romantic relationship, but apart. <laughs> he sounds so convincing. I would be so wooed. All right. Uh, okay. Good. So he must be back home, maybe? I'm trying to judge, like, how long it's been since uh, people have been around here. But it is very hard to tell the timeline of things so far. Which is probably on purpose. Uh, oh, got a box. Didn't see what I got. Scanner room! Nice. Okay. Uh, that leads up to our tower. Builder fragment. <sighs> we definitely need that. Oh, we just needed the one too. 
I need it to be come day so I could see what's going on out here, but I guess we can head inside for now. Bioreactor. Ooh. Jukebox. Power transmitter. Also good to have. Can we build one of these yet? New blueprint synthesized. Coffee. Filtered water. Inventory full. Okay, uh, we'll look at that in a second. For the last time, I'm not cheating. Then what's your theory? What's going on? If you ask me, Zeta's been blinking a lot. I think it's a tell. He does have a point there. It's allergies. Allergies? Oh, is something in bloom in this frozen sector? Thermal lilies. And if you gang up on me, I swear you're all fired. <laughs> you're not even my boss. Oh, you're all so gullible. You're fighting each other. Meanwhile, look at Parvin. <laughs> just look at him. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Let's just take this to a vote. All those who think Zeta's allergies are a bad case of alienitis, say intruder. Intruder. Uh, intruder. Intruder. Danny? Oh, I'm just an observer here. I'm going to use my pass. Is there some kind of scientist conspiracy going on here? Zeta, Sam, Danielle? You three are suddenly very aligned. Or, like I said, Parvin is cheating. I'm starting to wish I was cheating. <laughs> Sounds like they're almost playing, like, um, Among Us, but in, like, person. So there's a lot of people who were here. Alien facility- or Altera facilities map. Okay. Um... So Delta is mission, Phi engineering, outpost zero, Xeno biology research, Kappa mining site, Omega lab, biology research classified, but clearly Kara. I'm going to assume since we swam out to it, we're here. A map will come in handy. I should be able to find my way to Phi Robotics where Sam worked. So to the north is our base. So we must have landed here. There's not a whole lot of ice on the maybe maybe in here. Maybe this is where we've gone under and we found those like icicle things, maybe? Maybe so we're in here. Ooh, it's hard to tell. Right. We needed to maybe eat the this guy. So we can grab these. Fred's bed. He left it unmade. Jeremiah's bed. Also unmade. So he's the one who's repairing the tower. Pick a poster. Communications tower maintenance log. Another day, another slight by the winged furies. As usual, I got an interference alert. As usual, I went out to see what the problem was. As usual, it was frozen stalagmites of feathered bird excrement. I fear the career impact of saying this officially. If you can even call what I have a career. But I could swear they're targeting me personally. <laughs> the week I was out with the flu, I came back to find the tower spotless. Parvin laughed at me when I asked him how he cleaned it. Silly me. As if Parvin would ever clean anything. There's nothing left for me to do but quit. But I know that's what the birds want me to do. Oh, and I got the tower up and running. Maintenance complete. <laughs> A man versus bird. Uh, damaged modification station. Somnautica cup. Cute. Uh, say no to sky rays. Uh, alright. We will empty out our inventory here in a second. Framed picture. Oh! Oh, wow. Sam's spy pangling drawing. Thanks for everything, Fred, from Sam. Wow. 
Open shaving kit. Okay. Jenny, you wouldn't believe the adventure I'm having. It's just like when we were kids and we used to play underwater city. Only sea monsters aren't pretend and I don't need to hide behind you when one swims by. Because I'm safe in my sea truck. Safe and very, very brave. Please tell Dad for me. Thanks so much for the mustache kit, by the way. To be honest, I wasn't sure if it was a gag gift at first. Personal grooming is something of a challenge here, and as you know, I'm a pretty low-maintenance guy to begin with. But you'd be surprised how handy mustache wax is in an emergency. There have been some close scrapes. For a while there, someone was sabotaging my truck, and I thought I was seeing things. But my friend Sam helped me sort it out. Although, she's had some troubles of her own lately. To be honest, I get a little worried out here sometimes. But I guess that's normal, under the circumstances. Gotta expect a little risk, right? I should be happy. I have great friends and a good paycheck. Anyway, love you, Jenny, and Dad. Please find a way to tell him that he won't find embarrassing. And don't worry, I'm looking for the perfect fish to bring back as a gift. Your favorite! <laughs> A laugh. Like, just ends with a laugh. <laughs> uh, okay, we've scanned those. More posters. Keep calm and truck on. The new sea truck. Okay, um. I'm just gonna dump a bunch of titanium on the floor in here. It's not something we need a whole lot of. Uh, it is something we need a whole lot of, but it's very easy to find. So, I'm just gonna leave it here, and if we need it. And we're super desperate, can't find anywhere else, I'll just come back. Uh, there was something else I thought we did picked up. Ah, the say no to... Why do they get curtains? I want curtains. Okay. I almost picked that up. I was like, ooh, what is that? <laughs> so much space do we have? I have a decent amount. I might try to get one of those uh, seed nut things and see if we could plant them. But I might actually end the episode here um because we've been through a lot so i might come into this room where it looks probably the warmest so we've started checking out the station we've gotten the parts for the sea truck we've, we've gotten the stuff so that i could start building a base though i don't know where to build said base um but I think that's going to have to be it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.